Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today, Tottenham Hotspur grinded out a huge 1-0 win over Luton Town at Kenilworth Road on October 7th. It was the early morning kickoff for those of us in the United States, but we got it done with a goal from Mickey van de Ven, a first Premier League goal for our big Dutch defender at the back. A brilliant Madison assist and come the end of the 90 minutes, Tottenham find themselves at the top of the Premier League table. Of course, pending the Man City and Arsenal result tomorrow, which could decide if one of them go uh, atop us. But for now, we are first in the Premier League, unbeaten going into the October international break. What a great start we had to this match. Chances all around, right in the first like 10 minutes or so, Richarlison missed a great opportunity at the back post and we had a lot of other chances. Our attack was really flowing and we were really being a huge threat to Luton. At yeah. times we looked pretty shaky though at the end of the first half after Basuma got sent off and at the beginning of the second half, but eventually we did find our goal with the Mickey Van de Ven. First ever Spurs goal. Yeah, the first 25 minutes were probably our best period of play. We were controlling possession, probably 81% to 19%. Uh, we weren't giving Luton a single look into our uh, defense so you know Vicario barely saw the ball which was a good thing but I think the big problem was that our front three just could not really find a way to goal they were not take when they had the chances they couldn't take the chances properly and that was really what kind of came back to bite us for a little bit because after that Luton started to turn on the burners their fans got behind them and they honestly went close a couple times but our defense held really really strong which was an important thing because um, if there's one thing that Tottenham fans know, it's that this was the early kickoff of Saturday against a newly promoted team that sits back away at them, at their stadium. We were uh, playing to go first in the Premier League. We were playing after a big win against Liverpool, and we were playing before an international break. That's about seven different reasons, seven different curses that have affected us in the last five years, um, and Ange somehow broke all of them. So... That is an incredible result. Uh, yes, Basuma got sent off. I thought that was a bit disappointing. I thought first foul. I mean, I think he just got tangled up. But this, I think that's the unreal. dive. I, I there was like, no reason. I feel like he meant for his first yellow card to kind of be a tactical foul because he knew. Well, I, I forget who exactly it was with the ball, but Basuma knew. Basuma knew he was just gonna tr keep driving forward and would be a threat to our defense. So he meant to do a tactical foul. I think he would have gotten a yellow card either way. Yeah. But um. Because you're pulling someone back yeah. anyway. So. Second yellow card, I think he sh that, that's just kind of bad play from yeah. him. He it's the not... 48th minute, you're 0-0, zero, zero. you don't need to dive. He could have kept going too, he could have kept yeah. going into the penalty yeah. box too. Unless it was just the thought of, you know, three people converging on him. Maybe he just kind of went down under the pressure, which I get because it's not very easy. I think when you have like four different people going around you, you're kind of looking for a challenge, but again, in the rules, a yellow card is for a dive, and that was a second yellow, and Basuma now has uh, a one-game suspension. But uh, here's a fun fact. Because it was a double yellow, neither of those yellows count towards his suspension. So he'll be suspended for Fulham, then he'll come back still with four yellow cards, and if he gets another yellow, he'll be suspended again for a game. So that proves a little bit of trouble, especially when our midfield option behind him or Hoybier at skip. They didn't do too bad today, but, you know... Basuma's always more favorable because they're, he's obviously more press resistant. But um, that's that's the situation with him. Going into the second half, obviously we knew we had to be defensive, so we kind of just played with what Madison and Kulu and Son at the front, and then it was uh, Saar and Hoybier. But I gotta say, one thing about Saar and Hoybier, all they did was run today. They like yeah. really worked, and I don't think I've seen not yet this season. I've seen them work this hard and play that hard because by the end of the game specifically Pedro Poro, Yudagi, um, Saar and Madison uh, and Kulusevsky were absolutely winded like they I've never seen them run so much in one game like they did today they definitely put in a really good workload today and after just holding on to the lead late in the game with Skip, Hoybier and then Kulusevsky and Poro like up top I think we were just basically just feeding we were basically just booting the ball out of our back line but almost every single time we would add, we would find Kulusevsky or Pora or even Veliz after he came on for a decky. 
Yeah. We'd always find one of them, and they'd always have the physicality and the strength to win it, win the header, and get the 50-50 ball. Like usual, our best part of our team today was probably our defense. Um, I'd say Romero and Van de Ven were the two star outlets of the team. Van de Ven took his goal absolutely brilliantly, yeah. but he was also just really, really good defensively. But I think Romero might have had his best Tottenham performance, and best performance in a Tottenham shirt today. I've never seen him this composed, this calm when people are running at him. And for the 30 to 45 minute period where Luton were just throwing everything at us, um, like after Mickey Van de Ven scored, that period after that, when Luton were throwing everything at 10 man Tottenham, Romero defended so, so well. He never put into like any fans' th uh, minds, I think, he never put the, the idea of him giving away a penalty ever. He was never yeah. rash. The whole time, he was just calm, cool, and collected. And it was just a really, really composed performance from him. And that's like, I think that's one thing that Van de Ven has helped him do, is just calm down. Like, with Romer with Dyer, with Davies, I don't think we ever would have seen him this calm. This, like, not aggressive, not arrogant. But today, all he did was defend properly. And look where it took us. It took us to a clean sheet. And a big win over a, a side that we needed to get a win over. So that was a really, really important aspect of today. We also did really well after Basuma got sent off to kind of manage that defense. I think Ange made the right move to bring on Hoybier to sacrifice Richarlison for Hoybier and to bring Hoybier on. I know Hoybier, you're thinking like, you know, defensive, backward passing, but I think ever since Ange has come in, he's been better, more forward passing. Better, he's been like learning from Basuma and yeah. Saar and Ben Tanker off their forward passing. Maybe in training, he's been working on that. And today we saw a little of that. Um, even against Liverpool when you came on at the end, we saw that. I mean, today there was more backwards passing because we were just trying to keep possession, maybe run for the corner flags. But um, I'm definitely seeing improvement. And you know, he, you know, you never know. He could even stay at Spurs. Yeah, that's very true. Um, besides that, Pedro Porro and Sar, I thought they ran their socks off today. Really, really good performance. Um, and I think it was just a really, really good team performance overall. And it kind of exemplifies what Ange has brought into this club because um, he's changing the philosophy here. This would have been a loss in any other manager's reign in the last couple of years, but we turned it into a win today. And it's a very important win because these are the wins we need to get. Yeah, Poro and Yudogi were really good on the left and right hand side. I think they had to um, really deal with a lot of pace, especially Yudogi. Yeah. Dougie had to deal with a lot of pace on that right hand side. I think from Tahith. No, Tahith Chong was on the other side. Yeah. I think it was from Adebayo Brown. And Brown. Brown on that right hand side. Dougie dealt with him brilliantly, kept up with him. And um, it was a defensive masterclass from both of them. Yeah. Pedro Porro, I really love him in this position. Uh, attacking and defensive at the same time. He learned how to defend. And um, one, one, one play that really sums up his game is at the end when he won that corner right at the end of the match and he celebrated and right in front of our stand yeah that was a great moment yeah that was cool um but he really really worked his socks off i think everyone in the team really did really well today um save for a couple players maybe richarlison could have taken his chance better um basuma obviously double yellow was not an optimal outcome but I think everyone really, really brought out a good performance today, and it has showed because we're top of the table now. Uh, obviously, pending the City Arsenal result, we are top of the table, and that is a really, really good place to be before the October international break. We won't play for another two weeks, so I think this is a perfect place to be. Um, I think when Ange came in, everyone was expecting, like, okay, maybe we'll be challenging for fifth, fourth, you know, it'll be a slow process, but he's, he's come in, he's brought all the youth in, and he said, we can do it with the players that we have if they're coached right, and Ange has coached them right, clearly, because we are flying right now, and I think it's only gonna get better. Yeah, it's only gonna, we're only on the up from here. Um, Man City do play tomorrow, I believe. Arsenal. They play against Arsenal. And that will be a huge game. If they do draw, we will stay in first. Yeah. If Arsenal win, we'll be tied with them in first. It depends the margin they win by. Yeah. If they win by one, then we'll be tied on goal differential. I think we might be then, ahead because yeah. of goals scored. We're on 18 goals scored. So Arsenal have to score three goals at least. But that if they do score three goals, obviously they'd um, go ahead on goal differential anyway. So. Well, meant if it was 3-2. Yeah. Um, so... 
That's how that outcome looks right yeah. now. And if Man City win, they obviously go ahead of them. But we're in a great position right now. Yeah. Really, really good position. Going into the international break. I'm not sure if it was an yeah, in- yeah, international, international break. break. It's going to be a very, very cool season with Spurs. But that's it for our uh, look back on uh, Tottenham's win over Luton Town with a Mickey Van de Ven goal in the 52nd minute, assisted by James Madison to get the three points for Tottenham in an early kickoff on a Saturday away at a newly promoted team after a big win at Liverpool, fighting to go top of the table before an international break and just broken seven curses in one game. What a time to be a Tottenham fan. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below your favorite part of the game and who you thought was good today. And until next time, come on you Spurs!